Hey y'all, I'm back. Yes, this is Cooking with Tilt, baby. And I'm coming all the way back to you straight from Duval, y'all. Last time y'all see me, what? Fourth of July, I did that good old crawfish and shrimp pot, baby. But today I'm coming at you with some chicken, uh, chicken spinach. Damn, what I'm doing? Oh, oh excuse me. Y'all know I'm a fool. But no, <laughs> I'm going to give y'all some chicken spinach Alfredo, y'all, okay? My way. So, and like I tell y'all all the time, season to your own taste. I just give you the justice and the basis of what I'm doing, y'all. So, again, I'm going to do some chicken spinach Alfredo. I already got some water on by here boiling, y'all, for my Alfredo noodles. And I just put a little salt and a little oil back right there now for the noodles. So, they boiling. I got my pot over here ready. And it's going to be a little... Pot getting too hot. It's going to be a little semi-homemade with my sauce, y'all. Okay? Like I tell you, I try to show you the quick way, the easy way. That's going to be, mm, mm, shut your mouth. You know what I'm talking about. Let's get it. So, right here I got me some uh, chicken breast that I'm going to season up. I got some spinach here. Some frozen spinach. Um, it was a 16-ounce bag that's already been thawed and drained, okay? Right here I have two cups of cream. That I'm going to make my sauce out of along with some cream cheese. The Prego Home Style Alfredo Sauce. I have some uh, Parmesan cheese here. Some margarine. You can use margarine or you can use uh, pure butter. I ain't had no pure butter so I'm going to use this uh, Blue Bonnet. However you say it y'all. On there okay. Now what I'm going to do to start my sauce off with. Again I already had my pot on. I'm going to use some which I already got on uh, Little, uh, little over half a stick. I'm going to put in here uh, this blue butter to two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We're going to make a roux. And we're going to add, add the cream. The two You do two tablespoons of flour to two cups of cream and a half a stick of butter to make this roux. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. Get this butter melted now. Uh, you can do like two tablespoons of this butter, margarine. I like to use pure butter, but once again, I didn't have that. So, we're going to make a roux. So, I put the margarine and melted it down. I got two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, y'all. Put that off in there. Boom! Okay. And we're just going to whisk this away and make this roux here. Let that brown a little bit. Then we're going to add that cream. And what this roux going to do is keep your sauce thick, y'all, okay? Oh, and I'm also, hey, y'all, I'm actually cooking it. Chef Lily cooking in the hood. Y'all know my sister Lily, y'all. I'm cooking at her stove today, y'all, because I'm over here with her. She's been a little down and I'm keeping up, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, y'all check out Cooking in the Hood with Chef Lily. So, we're going to get this roux going. Like I said, that was just a little margarine, two tablespoons of flour. And we just gonna make this, make our sauce a little extra thick. That's all we're doing. And also what I'm gonna do before I put my cream in it and my Parmesan cheese, I got eight ounces, uh, 16 ounces of cream cheese that I'm gonna add to it, y'all. So eight ounces. I got another eight ounce thing right here, y'all. We're gonna melt this down in that root as well. This is how I make my sauce extra creamy and real, real good, y'all. Okay. Like I said, this is a semi-made sauce. Some people only use uh, Parmesan cheese when they're making a sauce, but I've tried it different ways, and I had liked it the way it was when I did it with cream cheese. So, we're just going to melt all this, cream all this down together. And I'm going to just use one eight ounce. I don't need the 16 ounce. I'm going to use one eight ounce of the cream cheese, y'all. Melt it down. And then we're going to add that cream. So, I use one, ounce, uh, one eight ounce of the of the cream cheese, not the both of them. 
Then we slowly add in our cream here to get it melted. Then we're going to add in the Parmesan cheese. And keep whisking it. This is uh, five ounces of uh, Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to just leave, I got some regular grated Parmesan cheese that I'm going to add on top. But I'm going to make my sauce with all of this uh, shredded Parmesan cheese, y'all. So I'm going to put that in now. Yes. Y'all see it. And I'm putting my sauce on first so it can marry together and simmer and everything. Mm. This so quick it ain't they gonna think y'all went to Michelangelo's or somewhere and got this y'all. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Keep it down on medium heat too. Y'all see how thick that's getting. That's what y'all want to see. And I I'm going to add a little garlic powder to my uh, sauce. And I'm just using garlic powder and a little blight pep, y'all. Because you don't want to take away from your Alfredo um, taste, okay? So I'm only using garlic powder and a little black pepper, y'all. That's all y'all need in this sauce. Don't add nothing else. And then we salted our water, so I'm moving the season. But look how I get in here. See how thick it done got? And then I'm gonna add, look at that, y'all. That's what y'all wanna see. And because it's semi-homemade, we're gonna drop off a jar of Prego, home style, Alfredo sauce, y'all. Boom, or you can get ragu, whatever kind you choose to get. But I don't like buying all them jars, so I do it semi-homemade with my own sauce. Now, if you don't want to use the jar, you just add your little more cream to thin this out and boom, you got your sauce, okay? Ugh. There you go. So we're gonna add this Alfredo sauce right here. Boom. There we go with our sauce. What I'm gonna do to get all my drippings at my uh, jar, I'm gonna get a little milk, y'all. How y'all had a spaghetti jar, you want all your drippings? Well, with this Alfredo sauce, I got a little milk. I you use cream, or canned milk, or whatever. Pour a little bit in here, not much, because I want everything about my jar. Shake it up. There we go, y'all. Boom. See? Voila. Now what I'ma do is put a lid, put my take, actually take my, oh, I need to get my lid. And I'ma let this Alfredo sauce simmer. I'm gonna put it on low and just let it hang out and do what it do. Why I get my chicken prepared, y'all? and my noodles. And every so often you just come back and you stir it, okay? So that's that. I'm gonna ask this pot, this lid don't fit, but that's all you need, child. Okay, now what I'm finna do, which I already had my pot on low. First off, only thing I'm putting on my um, chicken, y'all, is some, um, a little homegrown, Italian herbs here, some dry cilantro, and garlic powder, and a little bit of salt, because again, it's going in Alfredo, so you don't want to take away, so that's why I'm doing it like that, y'all, and then I just got some, you can call these chicken strips, that's all of the little chicken strips that I'm actually just sl slice in half a little bit, chop them down, but I'm going to season them up before I do that, and then I'm going to get them in my pan with a little bit of oil. Or you can leave them whole and just put your pasta in with your uh, pasta in with your sauce and put your chicken on top. Yeah, I might do it that way. I'm going to keep mine whole since they just the little chicken scripts. 
I'm gonna keep them whole instead of cutting them. Then I'm gonna put my spinach. Again, I have a 16 ounces of uh, frozen spinach that I've already thaw, uh, thawed out and drained. So we're gonna season up this here chicken, y'all. And again, season to your own taste, okay? Let me stir my sauce. Keep whipping your sauce too, y'all. Okay, that's straight right there. Let me um get this chicken seasoned. And I got two about two uh 16 ounces of fettuccine noodles, just some Walmart brand. I probably won't even have to use both of them, but that's what I got, okay? So we're finna take this chicken, I'm finna season it up with a little bit of salt, y'all. Season to your own taste. Some of my homegrown Italian seasoning. Cause chicken and Italian go together. You know what I'm saying? So I, I prefer it on my chicken. So, hey, it is what it is. Little garlic powder. I'm gonna have on my garlic powder, y'all. And some dry cilantro. Look really, really good. Okay. A little more of this here. Okay, I can't tell you how to season your food. You're seasoned to your own taste, baby. That's all I can tell you. Okay, and then we just wanna massage all this together. That's why I put a healthy uh, layering on it. You could do this the night before so it can marinate together, but um, I didn't do so because I wanted to show y'all step by step and I ain't feel like doing the taping and stopping and stuff, y'all, okay? So forgive me. And like I said, it's just a little salt little Italian herb seasoning, garlic powder, and dried cilantro. That's all you need. And this chicken's already washed and, and everything, okay? So I already got my pot on with my oil. So we're gonna take the pan fry your pan sear your uh, chicken breast. Okay, yes, indeed! Cause y'all know tip now what? Throw you wrong, baby. Yes. Ow. Ah, y'all know, y'all know. So that's what I'ma do now. I'm gonna wash my hands. I gotta get some more dish turning off your back now. I'm going to get my strainer ready because I'm going to put, like I said, my water's already boiling for these little uh, fettuccine noodles so we can go on and get that together. Y'all know when you're doing this, you just let these fall in there like that. You don't want to break your Alfredo noodles. Just let them cook down. And then you know a real Italian says it's a sin to break your pasta, baby. So... We're gonna do that like that. I stir it now. I'm gonna open this other pot right here. We're gonna get all that gas. I'm gonna end up going ahead and add my spinach to my uh, sauce as well, y'all. So when they start getting loose, they'll fall down. And you just keep them stirred so they won't stick together, y'all. See how I got that going? Yeah, I'm gonna chicken up the medium. And just keep them with your pasta spoon so they won't stick. And that's the purpose of me putting the oil and the salt in here so the oil try to keep them from sticking and then the salt give it its flavor. I'm gonna add all these here. And you know, you boil your noodles for about I'm going to boil these for maybe 7 to 10 minutes should be the perfect uh, time frame on it. But you always taste your noodles and see how it does and tell you how much cook you want to cook, okay? So, and like I say, these are some small little chicken tenders that I got. And uh, we're just pan searing them to go on top. And you just cook them for like 2 to 3 minutes on each side. 
I'm gonna actually flip them again. I flipped it a little too early, but it's all good. I had to turn my pan up. Check your sauce. And it's so quick and simple. This is like a really a 30 to 40 minute meal. That's going to be great, y'all. Well, 
I had to get my cousin to come filming because I've been bouncing around. I had, y'all know I'm moving in one spot. That spot they didn't want to fix up nothing, so I'm moving into another spot and they still don't have my place ready. So I kind of been bouncing around, so I haven't got with my um my niece Alex and Tilt, you know, who had been filming me, but Baby Zachi still with y'all now. I don't think cause I don't got other stuff going on and because of he's filming me that I don't click y'all to the curve because that's not the issue. But anyway, my camera girl right now today is to give my cousin TK. Um, a shout out her page. I want y'all to go visit her page, like, comment, and subscribe. It's called TK Tanae, y'all. And she do a lot of different things on there as well. Um, that's where you can view the uh, 4th of July drink song. Okay, y'all? So check it out. TK Tanae. And y'all see I'm sweating right now. It's hot. It's, it's real in the field. If you ain't sweating in the kitchen, you ain't doing your job, baby. Boom! Y'all know how it is. Do this real quick. I hope this is good enough sauce. I'm going to say it's moving in slowly. Okay, y'all. So, I'm done frying this till chicken, y'all. My noodles is ready to come out and be drained. I'm going to add my noodles. Well, actually, I'm going to drain the noodles. Put my spinach and the sauce on top of the noodles and mix it that way. Then we're going to plate this up. Like I say, this is like a 30 to 40 minute meal. So if you want something good and tasty for your man, for your kids, for yourself, when you get off from work, that's what cooking with tilt do, baby. And this is another one. And this is my chicken spinach alfredo. Boom. Hey, y'all. Let me get these noodles out of here before they get overdone. We don't want that. No, 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 no. So again, I bought these noodles. What I did was buy, it was probably about 10 minutes, if that. Cause I want mine just a little bit of the just a little bit. You know, you don't want your pasta all the way mushy. Like, that's just not what's up. So, let me get this out of the way. Excuse me. I'm gonna get these dishes, y'all know I gotta get the dishes clean. Clean this place to what? Godliness. Yes, ma'am. Let's pull this water off these pasta. That's what all we're doing. We're gonna pour it right back here in this pot. Bam. Okay. Again, I had some already defrosted spinach. You need nothing but like a little 16. I think this was like 16. Was, if it ain't 16, it's 12, y'all. Hell, y'all know I just be grabbing and going because I eye everything, you know. So we're going to put the spinach off of here. And on the other thing I'm going to add, I got my uh, grated Parmesan. Okay. So we got that going. We got our sauce. Whip it, whip it, ow, whip it. Put that right there. We're gonna pour this little sauce over on here, like so. Oh, so silky, so creamy, so smooth. Y'all know I'm a mess. And I'm just stopping just to incorporate it. Like so. Matter of fact, where's my wooden spoon? Wait a minute, y'all. Let me get my wooden spoon. Excuse me. Okay. So, I'm gonna get this here. And y'all see I use both boxes of those uh noodles, Alfredo noodles, fettuccine noodles, excuse me, y'all. And I like spinach. I do do broccoli too. Sometimes I do uh, sweet peas, frozen sweet peas or frozen uh, broccoli. But today, or you can use, today I'm using spinach because not a lot of people know about the spinach. So I like to do stuff a little different sometimes, you know. So yes, I'm going to dump all this in here, y'all. This 
the bell. Okay, y'all get in here. Yes, baby. Y'all see that? Do y'all see it? And that was the right amount of sauce for them two boxes. But even if I had more sauce, I still put more sauce in here. Cause baby, ain't nothing like that. Alfredo sauce and get you some good garlic bread, y'all. I ain't make no homemade garlic bread. But I am gonna toast it off with the Texas toast garlic, baby. Yeah, boo! I cheated. But if you want some fresh, you go get you a loaf of that uh, Italian bread from the uh, grocery store in the daily. Slice that thing open. Go get some of that uh, garlic and herb butter that I did on head on my uh, steak video, y'all. Spread that on there, bake it in that oven. Your sweat with this, or you can get the Texas toast and do it too. But yeah, we're gonna garnish that with that. But let's keep this rolling. So. As y'all can see, I got this well incorporated. Only thing that I am going to add to this is just a little bit of salt. I already put garlic powder and black pepper into my sauce. So, I got that spinach in there. So, I know it's going to need a little more flavoring. So, I'm just add a little bit of salt and a little bit more garlic powder, okay? But you season to your own taste. Because you don't want to take away too much from the, uh, again, the uh, Alfredo sauce, okay? And I'm going to put a little, most, put a little cilantro leaves off in here, okay? And this is quick, simple, and easy, y'all. This is all you do, okay? All you do. For real, man. Y'all know this is what we do with messing with tip. And this is my semi-homemade Alfredo, y'all. We're going to get this plated up and show you how it's going to be. I'm going to let my cousin, TK, TK Tanae, come on while I hold the camera. And she's going to taste this and tell y'all what the lid read, okay? Yes. Tell your man you bought it from Michelangelo's. When you, when, no, you ain't got to tell him you bought it from Michelangelo's no more because you're going to be making it yourself. Yes, baby. Okay, let me quit clowning. I got everything ready. And ooh, ooh, gooey, and delicious, baby. Okay. So, baby, this is all you're going to do. We're going to scoop this here. Shit, I know. Y'all know how they got fight these noodles to come up out the pot and stuff. Y'all see that? Ooh, wee, baby. Ooh, we do. This is what I do. Somebody church, y'all. Church. Can you take that around on your plate and just twirl it, y'all? There we go. Then we're going to add. We're going to add the chicken on top, y'all. Then we're going to top this here, like so, with the grated Parmesan cheese, y'all. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I hate when they come out in clumps, but it's all good. Okay, so that's that. Oh, and to make it extra pretty, y'all, and a little kick. This is what I like to do, if I can find it. Ain't what I want. Wait a minute, people. Eyes are coming. <laughs> I can't find it. I was looking for my little cayenne pepper to put a little color on it, but I use this uh, paprika, y'all. Just to make it a little color on top. I like my cayenne because it gives it a little kick. You know what I'm saying? But boom, there you go. That's just on my chicken. So, this is cooking with tilt. Chicken Alfredo with my chicken on top, y'all. Y'all look it out. So, I'm going to have my cousin TK today. And I'm going to let her tell me how this be, okay? Just a minute, y'all. Y'all 
see. I gotta wash these two dishes. Y'all know it get next to me. But yes, that is that for a dish right there, y'all. So again, I'm gonna let my cousin hand me this here camera so I can get her tasting this here dish, y'all. Tell y'all how cooking with till getting I told her. Don't give me no slack. If it needs something, missing something, tell me, y'all. Because y'all out there, y'all want to jump to the screen. But I want to let y'all know it's real in the feel. That we ain't sugarcoat sure nothing about what cooking with tilt do, y'all. Yes, baby. Okay. Okay, y'all. Can get TK, get that plate right there. Right there, girl. Yes. Dive on in now and let them know what it be like, okay? What's up guys? I'm TK Tanae. I'm here to sample her lovely chicken spinach alfredo. Girl, I'm for the sake, get it right. <laughs> Let's see. Not Not hungry. Ooh, girl. Don't turn your bite. Let Ooh, me get her. I had to dig in it. Dig in this thing real quick. And with me, I'm gonna I'm, I'm make some more sauce. I like my more saucier. Oh, uh, excuse me. Hold on. I know. I Look, y'all, I got to mess with her. Excuse me. It must be good, because she say, hell long. Thank you, boo. It's good. I don't need no seasoning. It's just right. You don't need no more salt or nothing. Like, it's just right. I it's just want some more sauce. I would like my saucy. You saucy? How much cleaning do you want? I like my saucy. Girl. I had to get in here and taste this, too, because she would eat like it was just so good, y'all. But I know my stuff be good. Y'all know I never stir you wrong. Okay. That is good, girl. Mm. Hit my own stuff on the body. Boom! Mm. So, once again, it's been Cooking with Tip, y'all. Y'all, tell a friend to tell a friend to like, comment, and subscribe to Cooking with Tip in the Hood. Tell them to visit TK today. Like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend. Also, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about, I had said so much, girl, I kept my eyes closed. Anyway, don't forget about Lexus, Lexus and Tilt page, my two nieces, yes, and don't forget about my sister page, Cooking with Chef Lily in the Hood, y'all. Y'all visit all our pages, because I'm keeping it in what? The family, y'all. This is what I do. A family that cook together, stay together, just like we pray together too, y'all. But baby, this is what we do. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, tell a friend to tell a friend. And you know what? Like I always say, I never stay wrong, baby. Boom. Okay, y'all. So it's been a ball. Y'all know I love doing this. I do this from my heart. And I love that y'all love me doing this, okay? So keep on. Like I said, I'm trying to get to that 100K, y'all. And I needed y'all, baby. So I can go ahead and do that greeting me so y'all can eat some of all this scrumptious food. That I be prepared for y'all, baby. Yes, right here in Duval.